What you guys got another video here for you windows 7 end of life everything you need to know will be in this video about windows 7 users now windows 7 was a really much loved operating system by many many people but windows 7 professional and enterprise editions will no longer receive extended security updates for critical and important vulnerabilities starting from tuesday january 10th 2023 Microsoft launched this uh, legacy operating system in October 2009. It then reached its end of support in January 2015 and its extended end of support in January 2020. Also, all editions of Windows 8.1 launched nine years ago in November 2013 will also reach its end of support on the same day as Windows 7. Most Windows 7 devices will not meet the hardware requirements for upgrading to Windows 11 as an alternative. So before investing in a Windows 10 upgrade, please consider that Windows 10 will reach its end of support on October 14th, 2025. So what does that mean for you as a Windows 7 user? Well, if you've got an old PC that runs Windows 7, then it leaves you with a few choices and I'll go through them right now so you can understand exactly what your options are. The only other thing you have to be uh, mindful about is that without any sort of security updates or any updates from Microsoft for that operating system, now over time it's going to gather more holes than Swiss cheese and this is because it's not being patched by Microsoft. So it's quite risky to use uh, for the foreseeable future. You might get away with it for a little while, but any time like another year or two years, it's going to become very, very dangerous to use, especially if you're doing banking online and other things like this with that particular operating system. So I'll leave some links in the video description uh, all about Windows 7, what Microsoft have posted up, and you can read that at your own leisure. Now, if you are going to be continuing to use Windows 7 and you're using it offline, this will be completely safe because you're not connected to the outside world, i.e. the internet, and you should be fine to use Windows 7 for the foreseeable future. But if you are going to be connecting to the internet and always be connected to the internet with a, an operating system like Windows 7 without any security updates, then you are going to be vulnerable and you will need to make sure that you secure Windows 7 a lot more than what you have done in the past. And I've made videos on how to do that. Now, you'll probably be shocked to know that 11.2% of people were still using Windows 7. That is only a little bit behind Windows 11 with 16.97%. So a lot of people were still using Windows 7 up until recently. And that is a lot of computers, probably millions of computers still using Windows 7. So it just goes to show you uh, the magnitude of uh, effect that this is going to have on a lot of people when Microsoft sees support for uh, Windows 7. And again, 11.2%. Now, of course, the only other downfall is once you obviously end support for an operating system, then all the software companies will jump on board as well. So Chrome have already stated that Chrome 109 is the last version of Chrome that will be supported for Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 8.1, and obviously Windows Server 2012. And this, of course, will be another now in the coffin for Windows 7 because people then can't use a secure browser, which is going to be an updated browser because it's constantly being attacked and they have to patch a lot of holes inside the browser as well. So now you're going to be left even more vulnerable. So what other options do you have? Well, you've got other options like Linux. You can use Zorin OS, which is a nice operating system. It's going to continue to get updates and security updates and patches, which means you will be secure online. Yes, it's a complete different operating system to Windows, but if you're in a real jam, this really will be a solution for you. You've also got Linux Mint, which is another uh, type of Linux distro which you can use. And you've got the Cinnamon Edition, which is going to obviously add more security for that old system that you're running. And you can also use Kubuntu as well. There's another operating system, which is another great choice for X Windows users that want to jump ship uh, to, say, another operating system. Now, I know it's going to be a massive step for some people to jump from Windows to Linux, but 
Other than that, you've got some other options available, which I'll go through right now, which is Windows 10. Now, believe it or not, you can still get a free upgrade to Windows 10 if you want to upgrade to Windows 10. As long as your system meets their system requirements, you can upgrade to it for free, even though Microsoft say that window is now closed. The only downfall is on October 14th, 2025, that will be end of life as well. Now, another thing you'll have to take into account before you upgrade to Windows 10 is how old is your system and is it going to be capable of running Windows 10? And this is the thing you have to take into account. Most Windows 7 machines I know are pretty much museum pieces and they can be put into a museum. They're that old. So Windows 10 system requirements, as you can see, are on the screen. I would use these with a real uh, pinch of salt because I can tell you right now, one gig of RAM running Windows 10 is not going to be an enjoyable experience. Even with four gigabytes of RAM, it's a real push. So I would say you would need at least a minimum of eight gigabytes of RAM to run Windows 10 comfortably. Of course, you're going to get people in the comment section saying they run Windows 10 with four gigabytes of RAM and it runs as smooth as silk. But hey, I'm not here to debate whether your PC runs well on four gigabytes of RAM. What I will say is that you have to evaluate the situation that a lot of software companies are going to be ceasing support for Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1 and Windows Server 2012. A lot of these are going to see support for it. For instance, NVIDIA and a lot of other types of software companies that are offering driver support are going to see support for it, which means you're going to be basically using really old, outdated drivers, and it's going to be a problem in the future. So you're going to have to do something. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of help for you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. And I shall catch you in the very next video. I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.